Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a nail DIY tutorial on these short cheetah print gel nails that I did at home all by myself. So if you're interested in today's video, then make sure you keep watching. Okay, so I started out um, the video already with some tips glued on. My nails are completely like buffed, cuticles clean, and that's because I was going to do this um, nail design originally on longer nails, but then I changed my mind. I wanted to give you guys something different because I know I'm always doing long nails, and there are plenty of people out there who rock shorter nails, so I thought, why not do a tutorial on some short builder gel nails for you guys? So I just cut um, those nail tips down and I'm just filing to my desired shape. I like really straight edges, um, sharp edges. I make sure that I'm holding the nail file at an angle where it'll give me a nice clean sharp line and I'm just doing that to all five fingers. All tools and items that I use will be linked down below in the description box, so make sure you check that out if you have any questions as to where I get all of my items from. Then I'm just going in with the Gelish pH Bond Dehydrator and I'm just applying that to my natural nail. You want to make sure you don't get this on your cuticles and you want to apply a very small amount just to your natural nail. That's what my nails are looking like. And then I'm going to go in with the Gelish Foundation. This is a base gel and you wanna apply a very thin layer of this. I'm just doing like two swipes across the nail if you guys can see. A very thin layer um, is enough. And then I'm gonna cure it for 60 seconds underneath my UV lamp. Next, I'm gonna go in with the IBD Hard Gel. This is a builder gel, and this is in clear. Um, I just wanted to do something that was easy, so I didn't pick a color because I knew that I'd be painting on top of the nail anyway, so I just went with clear builder gel, and I'm just applying that to each nail. I already did my pinky and my ring finger, so I'm starting off on my middle finger, and I kind of go in with like a little ball or bead of it at first and then I just apply it to the nail in circular motions kind of dragging down from the cuticle area all the way to the tip of the nail. I feel like it's easier for you guys to just watch how I do it um, because I'm not really sure how to explain it. My technique is kind of basic <laughs> so I think it's just easier to watch but I'm just trying to make sure that the nail is even and that I have a nice built up apex and that it's not too thick. Then after that you want to cure your nail for 60 seconds in the UV lamp. Going in on my index finger I'm just doing the same thing. So I'm taking some of that clear builder gel, applying it to the nail, starting at the cuticle area and just going in circular motions to kind of apply it and bring it down the nail. This really gives me like a strong center for the nail and then whatever is kind of like excess or too much, I kind of just apply to the edges.
For my base color for this nail set, I'm gonna be using the Gelish Gel Polish in Need a Tan, but I'm gonna first go in with some alcohol just to clean off the sticky layer that's on my nails. And then I'm going to also file and buff the nails just to make sure that everything is smooth. There's no like bumps or ridges in my nails. Um, so that when I put the gel polish on, I have a really smooth application. So that's what my nails are looking like now that I've shaped and buffed them. They look really smooth. I'm ready to paint these babies up. So I'm going in with Neat a Tan. Again, this is from Gelish. I will have it linked down below in the description box. But it's like a really pretty nude color. I'm gonna do two layers of this on each nail, curing in between for 60 seconds. Um, in between coats, I'm not wiping the sticky layer off. I'm leaving it so that the second layer can adhere better. And you wanna make sure you cap the, the edge of your nail with the gel as well. That'll make it look really neat and just like it was done in a salon. It looks really good. Now I'm just going in with my second layer of the gel polish. And then I'm going in with this gelish mini soak off gel polish in classic vinyl. This is just a black gel color and this dotting tool that I got from Sally Hansen. Um, and it's dual sided so one side has like a big dotting tool and the other side has a smaller one and I was just showing you guys the photo that I was using for reference um, it helped a lot to have the picture there right next to my hand as I was drawing the cheetah design because I didn't know what to do off the top of my head but having something to look at definitely helped um, you don't have to be super precise or get it extremely perfect because I think the more uneven and just kind of free it looks if that makes sense it looks more natural cheetah print designs are not like all one in the same they're all different but they kind of give the same vibe so i wasn't too specific on where i was placing the design or making the fingers look the same i just wanted to make sure that it looked like cheetah print And then after I did each finger, I of course cured for 60 seconds because I didn't want anything to mess up. It's kind of like drawing little like half crescent moons or C's or semicircles. And then I'm going in with the Gelish Clear Gel Top Coat. Doing one thin layer of this across all of the nails and then curing for 60 seconds, and then going in with a cuticle oil, also from Gelish. The entire um, Gelish kit that I use, I'll have it linked below because it's honestly such a lifesaver. It comes with all of the items that I use today. Not the tan and the black color, but just like the dehydrator and the base coat and the top coat and the cuticle oil. It comes with all that stuff. So this is what my completed nails look like. Honestly, I'm not someone who normally rocks short nails, but these were extremely cute to do. I actually really love the way that they turned out. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please let me know down below in the comment section. You can also go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up down below. Don't forget to click that like button. You can also join the fam by clicking the subscribe button and turning on your post notifications. There will be new videos three times Times a week so make sure you're looking out for that don't forget you are smart you are beautiful and people love you I love you and I can't wait to see you at my next upload bye